I'm Christina Agged, guest curator for the Britannia Mine Museum. The Britannia Mine Museum considers itself a partner in providing opportunities for artists to examine and develop their own artistic interests and skills through the theme of mining. We do this because we have an interest in providing exciting and diverse ways for audiences to connect with and understand why mining is relevant to them. Art can be a powerful connection point for learning because artists have the ability to visually challenge us to look at familiar things, such as the earth around us, with a fresh perspective and insight. We're very pleased to present Patricia Chauncey, extreme textile artist, and her interpretation of the Britannia mine and mine product through the exhibit Unearth. My ex experience in the Britannia um, mine was it, it very altering in some ways. Um, I watched um, as a miner's lantern off of the guy's hat reflected off the wall and how the light itself moved through the surfaces that had been transformed by the people who worked there that the rock itself was a continual um, evolution because of the water that was everywhere and the oxidization and the development of fungus and lichen. My name is Patricia Chauncey and I'm an extreme textile artist. The work that I do has a lot to do with transformation of taking a piece of cloth that's plain and white and turning it into something that looks like a stone, a rock wall, or an encrusted barnacle. I have spent the last 10 years surviving breast cancer and it's had an incredible impact on the kind of work that I do now. I think that some of what happened before was very much about intuitive knowledge about the fact that I was ill before it was confirmed medically. I have been through chemo and radiation and surgery. And as I watched the transformation of my body and my flesh, I thought about what happened when I created textiles and what happened with the kind of um, surfaces that I wanted to create to communicate what it is that I know and don't know. Each textile that I create has, um, because I'm a surface designer, has been transformed through heat or through boiling water or through um, patination and mineral oxidization and that creates surfaces that are very very dis destroyed in some way so I push textiles as far as I can I like watching what happens at that point right before total destruction where beauty is created by um, natural process. Um, so I push things as far as I possibly can and sometimes they just don't survive at all. But the ones that are the most successful are pieces that have been um, transformed through more destructive textile methods. For me, being in the mine was incredibly inspiring. I was deeply touched by the marks of the men and just the presence I felt of the people who had worked there for so long. So the connection for me became so very clear between the fungus in the mine 
and the roots from above and the marks of the men on the wall and the fact that eventually we all return to the earth. <laughs>